In the vast tapestry of Hollywood's history, Lou Ayres stands as a prominent thread, woven into the fabric of classic cinema. Whether you first encountered him in a wartime drama or a poignant character study, there's a timeless quality to Ayres' performances that resonates with audiences across generations. Perhaps you can recall the first time you witnessed his on-screen prowess, or maybe there's a particular moment from one of his works that left an indelible mark on you. Before we delve into the nuances of Ayres' career, we're curious about your cherished memories or personal experiences related to this iconic Hollywood actor. Share your stories and reflections in the comments below, we'd love to hear your perspectives. Now, let's shine a light on some random facts about Lou Ayres that add layers to the narrative of his life and career. Beyond the roles that brought him acclaim, did you know that Ayres, during World War II, conscientiously objected to combat but served as a medic, earning a bronze star for his courage? Such facets of his life underscore a complexity beyond the characters he portrayed on screen. From his breakout role in All Quiet on the Western Front to his later works that showcased a versatility often overshadowed by the more iconic figures of his era, Ayers navigated the evolving landscape of Hollywood with skill and dedication. So, whether it's reminiscing about his pivotal roles or uncovering lesser-known aspects of his life, the story of Lou Ayers is a tapestry worth exploring. Share your thoughts and experiences below, and let's celebrate the legacy of this classic Hollywood actor. Lou Ayers, a luminary in the annals of Hollywood, carved a distinctive niche for himself in the film industry. Born on December 28, 1908, in Minneapolis, Minnesota, Ayers manifested an early passion for the arts. His journey into acting was unconventional, marked by a stint in music at a young age. Ayers, an accomplished jazz and classical pianist, initially pursued a career in music, performing with orchestras and even playing with the Los Angeles Philharmonic at the tender age of 14. However, the allure of the silver screen proved irresistible. Lou Ayers made his film debut in 1929 with The Sophomore, setting the stage for a career that spanned decades. Notably, his breakout role came in 1930 with the critically acclaimed film All Quiet on the Western Front, where he portrayed the sensitive and idealistic German soldier Paul Buber. This role not only catapulted Ayers to stardom but also earned him an Academy Award nomination, cementing his place as a versatile and talented actor. While Ayers had a thriving career in the 1930s and 1940s, his commitment to his principles during World War II revealed another facet of his character. As a conscientious objector, Ayers chose non-combatant military service as a medic, an unconventional choice in an era marked by fervent patriotism. His unwavering stance against violence was a testament to his moral convictions, a rarity in the glamour-driven world of Hollywood. Post-war, Ayers continued to grace the silver screen with his presence and his portrayal of Dr. Kildare in a series of films during the late 1930s and early 1940s endeared him to audiences, creating an enduring legacy in the medical drama genre. Beyond acting, Ayers dabbled in directing, proving his artistic versatility. In the later years of his career, Ayers ventured into television, appearing in popular shows such as The Twilight Zone and The Virginian. His adaptability across different mediums showcased a resilience that underscored his enduring relevance in the entertainment industry. Lou Ayres' life and career were marked by a blend of artistic finesse and principled conviction. His ability to seamlessly transition between music and acting, coupled with his unyielding stand during wartime, etches his name in the chronicles of Hollywood as a figure who transcended the conventional boundaries of stardom. Co-starring alongside Lana Turner in three films, Lou Ayres showcased his versatility in roles ranging from romantic dramas to medical narratives. Films like Rich Man, Poor Girl, Calling Dr. Kildare, and these glamour girls underscored Ayres' ability to navigate diverse genres and share the screen with Hollywood's leading stars. Beyond his cinematic accomplishments, Ayres' personal life added another dimension to his narrative. His wife, Diana Hall, a former flight attendant, stood by him through the highs and lows of his career, providing a glimpse into the private side of the actor. Ayers' impact on the film industry extended beyond individual performances. He contributed to three Best Picture Oscar-nominated films, All Quiet on the Western Front, State Fair, and Johnny Belinda, with the former securing its place as a winner. This recognition solidified Ayers' position not only as a skilled actor, but also as a part of cinematic history. 
the convergence of Ayer's on-screen chemistry with Lana Turner, his personal life with Diana Hall, and his involvement in acclaimed films paints a comprehensive picture of the actor's legacy. From romantic leads to critical acclaim, Lou Ayer's left an indelible mark on Hollywood, balancing his professional and personal life with poise. Lou Ayers, known for his versatile roles in Hollywood, left an enduring legacy that extended beyond the silver screen. Co-starring alongside Janet Gaynor, he shared the screen in films like State Fair, Servant's Entrance, and a segment of the television series Doc's Dismissal, A Frugal Pair, The Girl Next Door. Not only did Ayers make his mark in cinema, but he also earned recognition on the Hollywood Walk of Fame with two star zone for motion pictures at 6385 Hollywood Boulevard and another for radio at 1724 Vine Street in Hollywood, California. Following his passing, Ayers found his final resting place next to Frank Zappa at Westwood Village Memorial Park Cemetery in Los Angeles, California. Zappa's unmarked grave lies to the right of Ayers, forming an unexpected connection in the realm of Hollywood history. These additional facets of Ayers' life, from his collaborative work with Janet Gaynor to his dual stars on the Walk of Fame, and his resting place beside Frank Zappa offer a deeper understanding of the actor's multifaceted contributions to the entertainment industry. Lou Ayer's impact resonates not just in his performances, but also in the recognition and connections he forged throughout his career. Heaven on Earth marked Lou Ayer's early collaboration with Anita Louise at Universal Studios. This partnership continued with another film, These Glamour Girls, produced by MGM. Despite being a conscientious objector during World War II, Ayers faced studio backlash for his stance, showcasing a rare instance of principled conviction in Hollywood. Born at 115 AM CST, Ayers' career spanned diverse genres, from romantic dramas to medical narratives. His legacy extends beyond individual performances, contributing to three Best Picture Oscar-nominated films, and earning recognition on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for both motion pictures and radio. Ayers' final resting place next to Frank Zappa at Westwood Village Memorial Park Cemetery adds an unexpected connection to Hollywood history. These facets, from film collaborations to principled choices and posthumous connections, highlight Lou Ayer's multifaceted contributions to the entertainment industry. As we draw the curtain on this journey through the cinematic tapestry of Lou Ayer's illustrious career, take a moment to let the echoes of his performances resonate within the chambers of your own experiences. Allow the flickering memories of his portrayals to carve a unique niche in the gallery of your cinematic appreciation. Lou Ayers, a maestro in the symphony of storytelling, has woven narratives that transcend the silver screen, embedding themselves in the collective consciousness of audiences. Now, it's your turn to be part of this ongoing dialogue. What are your fondest recollections of Ayers' on-screen brilliance? Which character left an indelible mark on your soul, and why? Share your thoughts as we celebrate the human connection that transcends time and space, forged through the artistry of a remarkable actor. Whether it's the poignant moments of All Quiet on the Western Front or the charming charisma of Dr. Kildare, Ayers' performances have undoubtedly left an indelible impression. Your reflections add another layer to the rich tapestry of appreciation that encapsulates the magic of cinema. As we wrap up this cinematic reverie, let's extend our gratitude to Lou Ayers for gracing the world with his talent and charisma, leaving an enduring legacy in the annals of entertainment. Thank you for joining us on this journey down memory lane. Your participation in this collective reflection is what makes the magic of cinema truly timeless. Appreciatively, 